The Snowy Day Surprise It was Christmas Eve, and deep in the snowy forest, everything was still. Snow blanketed the ground like a soft white quilt, and the stars twinkled brightly above. Puffy the polar bear lay in his cosy den, trying his best to fall asleep. But tonight was different. Puffy's heart raced with excitement as he thought about Christmas, and no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't drift off. He tossed, he turned, he wiggled, and he squirmed, but nothing worked. So finally, with a big sigh, Puffy sat up. Maybe if I just take a little peek outside, I'll feel sleepy, he thought. Wrapping his favourite scarf snugly around his neck, he tiptoed out into the snowy night. Outside, the forest looked magical. Snow glistened on the trees, and the whole world sparkled as though it had been dusted with glitter. Puffy breathed in the cool, crisp air, his breath forming little clouds in the moonlight. He felt like he had stepped into a winter wonderland. As Puffy strolled through the snowy forest, he noticed a warm, glowing light ahead. Curious, he crept closer, Beneath a tall, beautiful tree wrapped in soft, golden lights, he spotted something unusual. A small, mysterious box nestled in the snow. Puffy's heart skipped a beat. What could this be? he whispered, padding up to the box. With his paws trembling with excitement, he lifted the lid. Inside there was only a small piece of paper with a handwritten note. It read, To my best friend. Puffy blinked in surprise. Who left this here? And who's it for? Uh, Just then, a voice called down from above. Who's there? It was Ollie, the wise old owl, perched in the branches above, peering down at Puffy. Hi, Ollie, Puffy called up. I found this box with a note, but I can't tell who it's for. Ollie fluttered down to get a better look. He tilted his head, studying the note carefully. Interesting. This sounds like a mystery, he said thoughtfully. Maybe we should call on some friends to help us figure it out. Soon Hoppy the bunny hopped over, her fluffy tail twitching with excitement. Did someone say mystery? I love mysteries, she squealed. A moment later, Finny the fox padded over, his ears pricked with curiosity. "'What's going on?' he asked, noticing the little group gathered around the box. Puffy held up the note. "'Look, it says to my best friend, but we don't know who it's for.' The friends gathered around the glowing tree, scratching their heads and thinking hard. "'Maybe it's a gift for someone who's always brave,' Finny suggested with a grin." Or for someone who loves to help others, added Hoppy, her nose twitching. Ollie, who had been quietly thinking, nodded slowly. Perhaps, he said wisely, the note is meant for all of us. Maybe the true gift is something we already have. Our friendship. The friends exchanged surprised glances as they thought about Ollie's words. Puffy's eyes sparkled with realisation. Maybe the best gift of all is spending Christmas together, he exclaimed, his heart swelling with warmth. Hoppy clapped her paws. That's it! We should celebrate the night together and make it special for everyone in the forest. The friends all agreed, and soon they were gathering everything they could find to decorate the glowing tree. They draped sparkling icicles on the branches, hung berries like tiny ornaments, and set pine cones all around. Hoppy even made a wreath of twigs and leaves to hang up. As they decorated, laughter filled the air echoing through the forest. More and more animals began to appear, drawn by the cheerful sounds. Squirrels, hedgehogs, deer, and even a sleepy raccoon joined in helping to make the tree even more beautiful. Before long, the tree was shining brightly, decorated with nature's own gifts. The forest animals circled around it, admiring their work, each one feeling the warmth of friendship filling their hearts. 
Puffy looked around at all his friends and couldn't help but smile. It was the most magical Christmas Eve he could ever remember. Ollie was right. The best gifts weren't wrapped in boxes or, or tied with ribbons. The best gifts were friends who shared their joy, their laughter and their love. As the stars began to fade and the first light of dawn crept into the sky, Puffy felt his eyelids growing heavy. His heart was full and now, finally, he felt ready to sleep. With a happy sigh, he whispered, Merry Christmas, everyone, as he made his way back to his cosy den. That Christmas morning, every animal in the forest remembered the snowy day surprise, the night they realised that true friendship was the most precious gift of all, and every year after they gathered under the glowing tree to share the holiday magic, knowing that, together, they could make every Christmas special. In a forest dressed in white, snowflakes sparkle pure and bright, soft chimes echo through the trees, whispers carried on the breeze. Oh, Glad to be here with you. 